Flitter's Thermal Studio software and its new Route Creator plugin will help thermographers stay organized and on task. Thermographers can use it to generate asset lists and develop inspection routes, allowing them to work more efficiently, saving time and money. So we're going to start with a clean piece of paper, more or less. So we're going to create a quick route here based on just some pertinent information. So one of the th first things that pop up is our location. So on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see some of these icons with a blank, but you could also see in the right-hand side where we started to populate now all the different locations or we'll talk about assets and inspection points. But if I click location, you can see right now it is blank. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here and say that we're going to go look at the uh, electric power company and create a quick route, right? So electric power company. And you'll notice as I make these changes here um, inside of our route, we're also seeing those changes being affected here. Now at this point, you can put a description, you can put some comments, and I'll show you a little bit more when we go down to some of the other assets. But in order to get going here, uh, some of the icons that we have here is we can clone this. So if you have like the same um, what a different name, we can quickly clone this, but I think I'll show you how you can use that clone feature in a second. But what we want to do is we want to add maybe just another location. So electric power company is kind of random, but maybe what we want to do now is we want to go inspect the uh, Main Street substation. Okay, so today we are going to go look at our Main Street substation. Okay. And now again, you'll notice it's also populating. Um, so we've got Electric Power Company, our Main Street substation. And so as we're there inside the Main Street substation, what we're gonna do is now we're gonna create and look at different assets. So now that we're there, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna look at the transformer, right? So let's do the transformer. And now we have that set up. And again, as we notice, we've now gone from locations to actually looking at the critical component or the asset that we wanna inspect you know, throughout this route, today, tomorrow, next week, and thereafter. So within this transformer, there's a lot of things to look at. Now we can look at the bushings, we can look at the low tap changes, we can look at the fans, there's a lot of different things. But again, what we'll do is we'll just create uh, a couple of inspection points here. So as I look at my icons, you'll see here now it's going to add an inspection point. This is actually the image that you're going to capture in our route. So as I click my add inspection, once again, you'll notice on the left, we have inspection points, the assets and the locations that we are located at. So for here, again, this is the, the thermal image that we're gonna capture. On the transformer for this, I'm just gonna say, let's look at the fuse. Now our target here is a fuse, and I know you don't have fuses on your transformer, but for now we're gonna do that. But I'll show you one neat little thing here. So from a description standpoint, we can say that this is a, uh, ABB fuse and then in the comments section which is also a really nice feature that you might want to tell the thermographer using the camera don't forget to take image with both phases and I'll really show you where this kind of comes through again we're doing this in a computer system and then when we bring it to the camera you'll be able to see all those so now we got one inspection point, so that's one image that we're gonna capture. So just for the demonstration purposes, what I'm gonna do is I wanna duplicate this, but I don't wanna to go to the Main Street substation. So here's where the clone device works really nice, the icon. So you come up here to this level, and what I wanna do is I wanna clone it. So we use a little sheep, right, that uh, is the clone, of what was the first animal to be cloned. So I'm gonna go ahead and clone it, and you'll notice it took my Main Street transformer and that fuse. So here, of course, we can now say, I'm not looking at the Main Street uh, substation. We're gonna go to East Main, okay? And then and now we're not gonna look at this transformer at this location. We're gonna look at the circuit breaker, okay? And again, I'm gonna use, instead of the fuse, we're gonna keep looking at the fuse and take another picture, but I tell you what, we'll look at the bushing. Okay, so now we've already created a route. We've got two inspection points. We're at two locations looking at two different assets. But here on my, um, excuse me, my bushing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, you know what, be safe. Okay, so that is our route. And again, this could become much more elaborate, but for this demonstration, I just want to show you how you can go from literally a clean piece of paper to bringing it into the camera. So we got our route. Of course, what we want to do is we want to save that. And what I'm gonna do though is I will save it. 
and then let's click save. It'll of course put it into a location on my computer. So once that's done, we can then go ahead and click save. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect my camera. I'm just gonna use the USB cable, but of course you can pop the SD card out of the camera. You can put it in your computer um, in that way, but I thought this might be a little quicker and easier as the camera or the SD card will show up as an external drive. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna export our route, our survey that we just created here with these two inspection points. So as, as I create my export, um, it's just gonna default to route.xml, but you can change it to whatever name that you want. And right now my camera shows up as what we call the D drive or a separate drive, but it's gonna put it on the SD card of the camera. So I'll just leave it route, but again, you can name it anything that you want and I'll go ahead and click save. So kind of happened fast. Uh, it saved, opened up a new window, but now we can see our route is now uh, tied to the SD card. We've now taken our route. We transferred it from the computer onto the SD card. So now the thermographer goes out in the field. And one of the first things you'll notice is when you boot up the camera, it already is asking you to uh, basically, as we indicated in the software, inspection point is the fuse. So the first part of our route is this transformer and we should be looking at the fuse. Now, when in doubt, you say, geez, what was the first or the second or the third image? One of the nice things on the camera is that you can click this little icon on the camera up to the right near the temperature scale and it'll tell you that you should be looking at an ABB fuse and oh, remember that comment I put into the file, don't forget to take an image with both phases. So it's a really nice way, even after you set up your route, you might have forgot some things. You can go to that little notepad and kind of remember, oh yeah, it's an ABB fuse, and of course, don't forget to take an image of both phases. What we could also do is, we could actually also click on the uh, top, and you'll notice right now is, don't forget to take an image. There's my note. You can go back in and edit at this point, and you'll also notice that we have some defaults here in terms of status. So if I click the button, you can see we have already some things in terms of criticality, right? Maybe it's okay. Um, we should note that this uh, component or something wrong, or it is critical, or we couldn't even inspect it. So when you go back and do your uh, final report, all of this information is going to, again, be saved with the file, and all of these statuses can be saved along with the image. And you could, of course, edit these after the fact. But So for now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at our transformer fuse. And another thing we could do is we could also click the inspection list. Now remember, when I set up the, um, the route, I said we were going to be an electric power company. And so I'm going to go ahead and say, let's go in there. And I set up the Main Street substation and the East Main substation. So again, everything that we did in the computer has now been transferred over here. So again, as I look in my Main Street substation, I know that from an asset perspective, I have a transformer. And then within that transformer, you'll also notice there's one of one, meaning I should be taking a picture of a fuse. And you'll notice there's a green dial indicating that um, we still need to take a picture here. So get a common question is, okay, I'm out in the field and I wanna now not only capture the fuse, I wanna capture something else. Well, you can come in here and edit and we can add components. So in your, out in the field, you don't have to run back to your office. You don't have to go back in your truck hotel, whatever, get your laptop, type it in. You can literally create a whole new inspection uh, list right here or an inspection item. So maybe we said while we were out there, we saw the fuse, but we also now wanted to incorporate into our route, not only today, but let's say from now on, you saw something that really should have been inspected also. So maybe we'll just say on the transformer, we should next time inspect the uh, LTC. So let's go ahead and put in the LTC in all caps, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. And that's now been added. And you'll notice it asked me, the camera is gonna ask you, do you wanna have this as a site or asset? An inspection point. So now we can set that up and say, well, I wanna do it as an inspection point because I already know I'm at the transformer. And now you'll notice we have two images that we now need to take at this location. So once we're out here, we can then go ahead and get back to the live image. We got our fuse, and now I'm gonna go ahead and say, let's go ahead and capture that. So let me get to the camera here, and I'm gonna go ahead and snap a picture. Um, I believe I have it on preview. Yep, that's good. I got my digital, I got my thermal, and now you'll notice that, of course, in the upper part of this uh, image, you'll see that next to the green dial, there's a very, very small thumbnail of the transformer fuse. 
Now, I could have set this up to automatically go to the next location, but I'm gonna use the arrow key to go to my next point. And remember, I just added this in the field. I now wanna look at the LTC. Well, I don't have a good target here right now, but what we could do is I'm just gonna move the camera just a little bit and take a picture of my screen, which is indicative of an LTC transformer. So let's go ahead and save that again. And so we'll hit save. Okay, got a thermal. We got our visible and we're all set. So let me go back to the fuse. And you'll notice I still have my arrows. I can go back or I can go forward. So now if you remember in our route, we were at the Main Street substation and now we're took, we took a picture of the fuse, we took a picture of our LTC. If I hit the arrow keys going forward, now you'll notice I'm actually now supposed to be looking at a circuit breaker bushing. But wait a minute, where am I? Uh, it automatically took us to the ABB fuse, and of course I said to be safe. So when I go back into my route, I'm gonna go back into my inspection list, and again, back to Electric Power Company, you'll notice the check mark is now next to East Main Street substation. It automatically took us to the next location. So I know I'm in the right spot. I know I need to take a, a picture of a bushing. Once again, I don't have a bushing here for the demonstration, but let's go ahead, take that picture, okay? Once again, we'll snap the thermal, we snap the visible, and now we are all set. We can essentially go back to our next location, I hit the arrow key and now it says, do you wanna lock this inspection route? So when you say lock, that means you're done. What this is is an added benefit that we could now put into the camera system so that you won't overwrite any of those images that you just took. Now you might say to yourself, oh, but wait a minute, I wanna go back and take a picture. Of course you can hit cancel and you can go back into your inspection route and go back and take a picture over the one that you just uh, took. So for instance, oh, wait a minute, that wasn't the correct bushing. Let me go ahead and hit the button you'll notice that there is now a FLIR 0007. But you know what? I saw something that didn't really look good. I want to take basically a critical, as uh, uh, isolate this as critical. So you now you see the red dial, or the dial is now red. But you know what? I want to overwrite this image. So I can go ahead, and you'll notice there's a little trash can. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to delete this from your current image? And I say, yeah, let me go ahead and try a different one. So now our route is back up, and if I click this down, you'll see there's no image associated with it next. I'm gonna go ahead, just turn the camera ever so slightly. Now let's take another picture, save. Okay, save my thermal, save my visible, and now I'm able to go back in and of course complete my route. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna lock this, and we are now done. Now we saved our images on the camera, and you notice we had two originally set in our route, but we added one in the field. So what we wanna do is get back into Flare Thermal Studio, and we wanna go back into our routing tab. And the easiest way to get going is really, we're just gonna open an inspection file. I mean, you can create a new inspection, but basically what we're doing is we're taking the file that we have on the camera, and we're gonna go ahead and open it right inside of our, our route creator. So right now I'm opening up a file and I am connected to the camera again over my USB, but you could take the SD card out, plug it in your computer, uh, whatever means that you have to get the file from the camera to your computer system. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up and you'll notice we have a selection here of a, of a new inspection or periodic. So for now we're gonna do a new. Now you'll notice a lot of different boxes down here. Uh, this was user data that we could set up in this report. So you, once you set it up once, you can never have to do it again. So I won't go through that right now, but that's one aspect of how quickly you can generate a report. So we have a report. It's going to be the initial inspection, so we're going to create our baseline. So as I move forward, on the bottom right here, we have arrow keys. As I move forward, you'll notice there's our route on the left-hand side. Electric Power Company, Main Street, East Main Street, and you'll notice there's now little icons next to the uh, inspection points that we created. Um, one is green, one is blue, and one is red. So if I go over here to the fuse, when I click it, you'll notice there's our thermal, there's our visible, and some other pertinent data that we could also tie into the report. When I brought it up in the camera, we noticed we had OK, no, critical, or could not inspect. This is what I meant where you can come back in now and change that setting. So maybe we would just want to make a note, and you'll notice the color of that image now changed from blue to yellow, indicating this is probably something that we should take a note of and take a closer look at. So at this point, 
we could take a look at this image. If, let's say, we wanted to edit it and add some other critical components to it, we're simply going to go ahead and double click on it and now do any of our editing. So in the camera, I only had one spot on the image. Um, we want to make sure that we have the right information. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And again, we have all of our measurement tools available to us. So for instance, I really want to add that rectangle, uh, put it around my entire fuse. And of course, the red is indicative of the hot spot and the blue is indicative of the cold spot. So now we've got our box area on there. So we know where the hot spot is and we know where the cold spot is. So let's go ahead and save that and close it. And again, now all those edits have been uh, stored in that metadata file. So from a template perspective, you know, we've got a couple templates built into the software. I'm just going to use our ABC uh, electrical. I'm going to go ahead and select that. So it's now going to take those three images and I set up this template to uh, bring the images in um, and any other criteria that we had saved. So we have our full report. Now again, had I filled out a lot of those user fields, this is where you would see those all filled in. But here's our table of contents. Um, here's a nice little uh, summary of the uh, equipment. So you'll notice now we have our fuse, we got our LTC, and we have our bushing. So some of the status, you'll notice it's now no and critical. So even after I changed it in the report, it's now going to be a uh, witness here in our summary page. So if we had actually turned on some other features, they would all be here. Like for instance, if I had my GPS coordinates on, the map would show up of where I was for that location, but you don't have to have that in a report. And now we have our visible, we've got our thermal. You'll notice the area box has now been added as I changed it before I generated a report and some other critical information. What camera, what lens, what were the settings that I had in the camera? And of course, you can add some other things. So for instance, if I go back down to my LTC, you can see there's my screen. Oh, wait, that's not where I wanted the spot. You can still double click in the image and we can go ahead, we can take that spot. Let me move it over here to this hot spot. And of course I can save that, let me close it. And now all of my information in my table will get updated. And of course we can now hit print on this report. So that's how easy it is to create the route, bring it to your camera, store the images, and now generate your report and send it off to your colleagues uh, for further inspection.